Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Coleman and I are speaking with our favorite Hollywood historian and all-around good guy, Manny Pacheco. Hi, Manny. Hey, guys. Manny, <laughs> great to see you. Hey, I'm Manny, happy, uh, you know, us film fans, it's always Oscar season. And this year's Oscars were a little bit different, but, you know, on the other hand, it's always the same. And there's always somebody who gets left out. Yeah, that's true. Um, this year it was Lady Gaga for the uh, House of Gucci. And I know, I, and you know what? I thought she was terrific. She, uh, first of all, you she, remember um, when when she was in Star is Born? Right. Yeah. Uh, I didn't really expect anything out of that. I thought she was magnificent. Should have won an Oscar for that. But then when House of Gucci came up, I said, okay, well, she's not going to sing. Maybe she really isn't much of an actress, but boy, she was terrific. Now, granted, she could have been that Italian girl from Jersey, but she was perfect as a Gucci. Yeah. Well, you know, she she campaigned hard for that role as well. I mean, she wanted to get that role, and she campaigned with the Oscars to get the uh, nomination. Yes. I mean, no no actor this year campaigned harder than her. To actually, uh, you know, get a nomination, and and then she was snubbed, as uh, Paolo Gucci might have said, "Boof." <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the truth of the matter is that um, uh, uh, there have been a lot of actors and actresses who've been snubbed who have had magnificent roles. This is not the first time; probably won't be the last. So, you're the Hollywood historian. Give us some of the ones that might surprise us of people who have never actually never even received an Oscar. Forget about it. Uh, yeah. the nomination. Notorious snubs. Well, there are those that never even received a nomination, which is even a, a bigger snub because, you know, that's that's five out of, you know, you know, five instead of one. One winner, five, you know, that's that's a lot. And, not, and to never even get a, a, a nomination in their career, that is just an amazing uh, piece of information. And at the top of that list, would we would find Edward G. Robinson. Oh, um, a, a contemporary of George Raft, Humphrey Bogart, and yes. James Cagney. Of course, Bogey and Cagney won an Oscar. Robinson was probably the most versatile of the actors. He could do comedy. He could do um, adventure, yep. uh, as he as he did in The Sea Wolf. He can do a uh, hardcore, hard boiled drama uh, and gangster types. But for him to be snubbed and ignored, and he did some great roles. He was uh, a great support for uh, Steve, Steve McQueen in The Cincinnati Kid. Yeah. Of course, uh, Little Caesar, his seminal role that put him on the map, ignored. Wh whereas, you know, uh, Public Enemy became uh, such a great uh, role for, for Cagney that, you know, he was not only nominated once, he ended up becoming uh, nominated for three Academy Awards through the course of his career. And of course, and, I, oh, and you, you know, one other role that I want to mention is that he was absolutely terrific in Key Largo opposite Bogey and Bacall. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what's odd about uh, Robinson not getting even a, uh, a nomination is he was such a nice guy. He Everybody loved him in Hollywood. He was known as just the opposite of those uh, killers and uh, gangsters. He was known as a nice, sweet man. And, and you would think... All his friends would vote for him. He was cultured as well. He, he was an art collector. Uh, he, he really understood the value of art, and, and he had a great collection in his house. But, you know, he was also asked to name names during the McCarthy era. He, he kind of held out. That kind of hurt his career with the studios for a while. And when he eventually, you know, came out, he ended up naming the names of people who are already named. So he didn't hurt anybody because they were yeah. already named. Yeah. And that was his way to get around the whole situation. But, uh, yeah, and, and the saddest story of all is that when the Academy d determined that, you know, we've really snubbed Edward G. Robinson, they decided to give him an honorary Oscar. And unfortunately, he died two months before the telecast. Mm. Oh, oh. Yeah. So uh, do you have any other um, uh, Oscar snubs that uh, you think might make our eyebrows raise? Any other? Well, as far as actresses go, there is no bigger snub than Myrna Loy. 
I mean, one of the all-time great uh, actresses, the product of Venice High School, a local, and she was very well paired with William Powell in a number of films. And while William Powell was nominated for The Thin Man, the original Thin Man, Myrna Loy never received the nomination. But her biggest snub, I think, was playing the wife of a, a returning vet in the best years of our lives. She yes. was absolutely magnificent. In many ways, she was the glue to that film yeah. and ignored, completely ignored. When that film received a number of nominations and awards, including Best Picture, Frederick March received a, an Academy Award for Best Actor, but again, she was snubbed. Hmm. Now, is that common? Uh, more common in the snubs world? Uh, more common that women get snubbed than men get snubbed, do you think? No, I don't think so. I think that it's pretty equal. I think th uh, I, I, there, are, there are favorites, absolute favorites that are going to get nominations no matter what. Peter O'Toole, uh, Richard Burton, as far as women go, Catherine Hepburn, Betty Davis. I mean, you know, yeah, uh, so even are, though she died relatively young, uh, Marilyn Monroe, who turned out to be an amazingly good actress, in my opinion, uh, she was also yeah. snubbed, wasn't she? Yeah, she was snubbed for a different reason, though. I think that there's uh, this thing in Hollywood that if somebody is really beautiful, male or female, that they probably can't act. They're just on camera because of their looks. And and truth be told, I mean, everybody from Cary Grant to George Clooney has proven that they can act. And mm -hmm. as far as women go, Jean Harlow, who was also snubbed. Really? Jean right. Harlow. Yeah, oh, yeah. And Marilyn Monroe could act. And, and of course, Marilyn Monroe trained in the method. She was a method actress. So yeah. she worked really hard mm. to be a, a, a really terrific actress. But for her to be ignored in Some Like It Hot, I mean, that really was her role. Yep. That's an iconic role. And even if she got snubbed for the seven-year itch, there is nothing more iconic than that uh, skirt blowing up uh, the way it does on the great. Oh, mm -hmm. Absolutely, scene. yeah. So, I mean, she, um, yeah, I would agree with you, Art. She was really snubbed. <laughs> so, uh, but there, but there are others. I mean, if I give you a litany of names, you're just going to be, you're going to scratch your head. I mean, how does Errol Flynn, for the entirety of his career, never receive a nomination? And, and in the same vein, Tyrone Power as well. And, and Tyrone Power may have been the burst more versatile of the two. I mean, with Nightmare Alley coming out this year. Tyrone Power was magnificent in, in Nightmare Alley in 1947, as he was in The Razor's Edge. But, you know, he was snubbed. And Errol Flynn, his, his I mean, his most remembered role, could have earned an Academy Award nomination. He was Robin Hood to the T. And The Adventures of Robin Hood was a magnificently produced uh, film. So how Errol Flynn gets ignored is is beyond me. And, and one other that I want to throw out there, boy, was there any better actor in the horror genre than than Boris Karloff? Oh mm. boy, yeah. And boy, he and he never and he didn't want to just remain in the horror category. He he wanted to make important films, and he campaigned his entire career to do better work. Yeah. And they they typecast him so terribly, and because of that, you know, he was in considered B pictures and never received an Academy Award nomination. Yeah, and I, I think with Boris Karloff, the problem was typecasting. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. As opposed yeah. to lack of respect. So, uh, yeah. So getting so uh, yeah. so getting a little bit back up to date. So Lady Gaga was snubbed. Any other uh, big snubs for this year, in your opinion? I think so. Um, I think that the music, the the song "Don't Look Up" or "Just Look Up," it was called uh, that Ari Ariana Grande sang uh, in the movie "Don't Look Up" was just a terrific song. I can sing it after hearing it once or twice. So you know a good song is when you can actually, you know, mimic the song, completely snubbed. And boy, the sad part is that Ariana Grande had had uh, said that if she received a nomination, she would have performed it at the Oscars. Mm. So that would have attracted a younger audience, which is what exactly what the Oscars are looking for. That's the biggest complaint, that they don't get the young folks interested anymore. Ariana Grande was just the perfect solution to that. And uh, but but the song has to get nominated first and it was ignored. And as far as acting uh, categories this year, I mean, you had mentioned it, Art. There were a lot of women that I think were really ignored. Um, the, the young lady, lady uh, I believe her name is Rachel Zegler mm. uh, in West Side Story. Oh, just. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, and of course, Frances McDorm- Nor- uh, McDormand, who who won last year, she was wonderful in the tragedy of Macbeth. I mean, yeah. she really could have gotten another nomination. She's already won three Oscars, so maybe they decided to spread it around a little bit more. And as far as men go, this new this new character, the, the one who played Riff, uh, Mike Faith, this new actor that we haven't heard of, Mike Faith, um, Faced, Mike Faced is his name. Uh, who played Riff in West Side Story was absolutely terrific as well. Yeah. The two young actors in Licorice Pizza were considered snubbed. One of them is the son of uh, of a famous actor as well, so uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Mm. Yes. So Cooper Hoffman. So yeah, um, there's plenty of snubs to go around. But the only thing positive, <laughs> I guess, we could say about snubs, especially when there are so many of them in the same year, is that that may- meant that there was probably a lot of pictures worth seeing. Uh, and a lot of performances yes. worth seeing. So, uh, absolutely. From that standpoint, yeah. uh, maybe it's almost an embarrassment of riches that um, uh, people have continued to be snubbed, but that's a good product out there. Absolutely. Yeah, there really, really was good product. Um, maybe not as good as the two or three from the previous year, but there was like seven or eight who were very good. Mm. I mean, if they weren't great like last year, they were ve- just way more very good films this year, if that makes any sense. Yep. Well, Barry, yeah. this is uh, odd considering the uh, pandemic and all that uh, this year got. Right. <laughs> exactly. And I love the technical term, too. Yeah, I well, that's, uh, yeah. that's because he's, he's talking in the language of the roots of, his, of the old country, New York. That's, I thought he was Irish. I thought he was Irish. He, 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 is, he is an equal opportunity uh, uh, um, say it, uh, quoter. Yiddish is very common in, in, in Ireland. So. Well, there you go. Okay. You had, an, you had a Jewish say it, didn't you? That. That's, that, that's information I would have snubbed because I didn't know it. Yeah, there you go. Well, okay, hey, so, Manny, this has been... Yeah. Go ahead, John. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Art, you were going to say something. No, I was going to try to wrap it up, but uh, I guess great minds think alike. <laughs> well, this is sad. I wasn't prepared to wrap it up, but if you two want to go, Oh, wait, you've got it. more. No, I don't have more. You're fine. Oh, that's right. But, but the day is young. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> this is a perfect example of great producing when everybody's on the same page. Except, except and that is we don't know what's next. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say goodbye, Manny. Uh, goodbye, Manny. Goodbye, Manny. <laughs> goodbye, Manny. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.